we're using the iPads in our social studies teaching program here at ASU and it's allowing our students an opportunity to have constant engagement with sources and they're learning to teach effectively using those types of sources because schools today, junior high and high schools, students are having access to the iPads and our students need to be able to teach in that type of environment. So it's, it's transforming what we're able to do uh, in our teaching. They're using uh, historical based apps that are appropriate for teaching. They're learning to develop activities like the National Archives has a Docs Teach app that, that has all types of access to primary documents and the students are learning to create lessons using these primary documents located at that app. They're using um, iMovie to create like um, lesson teasers, you know, they put together an introduction to a lesson to draw students in to a unit of study and they're using uh, GarageBand to record audio podcasts. Technology is going to allow me to have students all around the world and to connect students with our students all around the world. So technology is going to erase boundaries. We're going to have 20, you know, talk about lifelong learning and 24 hour seven learning. That's what we're going to have. And now when students ask questions, you know, I don't have to say, well, I'll go see if I can find the answer. We have constant access to the internet. We have constant access to content in iTunes U. If we want to listen to a, a, a professor's lecture, let's say um, Professor David Blatt might be doing a lecture at Yale on uh, slavery. We can connect and listen to his, his lecture. And so the content of the courses is no longer limited to just a small range of resources that I might have access to. We have access to resources all around the world. It's an amazing transformation. Just think, when I started teaching in 1983, we were limited to the resources that I had access to as the teacher. And the lesson was only as engaging as I could present it. Now, when students ask questions, we have a world of resources to have access to.